Hey guys, we meet yet again in the car. <laughs> the same way we started off in last week's vlog. I am just on my way to the hairdressers, which also happens to be one of my best friend's house. So she's got a home salon. Um, Steph's been my hairdresser for like four years now. She's amazing and I'm very much looking forward to sorting this regrowth out. And it's always nice for us because we're both very busy people like she runs her own business she works Tuesday to Saturday so when I get my hair done it's always a perfect time to have a really good catch-up because I'm obviously there for a couple of hours hope you guys had a good weekend mine was full of oh the rubbish truck just pulled out in front of me um, Mine was full of family stuff, which was great. We had my pop's 80th, which was really special. And then tomorrow we have my other pop's 80th, who's down in Fidianga. And I'll be driving down there tomorrow for the day. So my parents are gonna go down tonight and stay for a couple of days, but I'm just gonna take a day trip and drive down there tomorrow and drive back. Now that I'm in my new car, so that's gonna be really nice. I think it'll be really good for my soul just to have that alone time with my music and my podcast for a good couple of hours at the start and end of the day. And the scenery is beautiful driving down to the Coromandel. And obviously I'm really looking forward to seeing my pop and celebrating his 80th. Uh, but yeah, been a busy week of family shindigs. <laughs> Hair is done. I feel like it's coming, it's coming up kind of ashy on the camera. It's not ashy at all. I don't know why it's doing that. It must just be, it must just be the lighting. Um, but in real life, it looks a little bit more creamy rather than ashy. Uh, but yeah, I have shorter hair again. I have no regrowth, which is amazing. And I got a nice choppy long bob. Um, I always make sure that she keeps a lot of weight around the bottom because I feel like if you cut your hair this short and you get layers or they thin your hair at the bottom, it starts curving in like a proper bob and that's not what you want when you cut your hair this short. Or maybe it is what you want. You do you. But yeah, if you want that nice blunt choppy look you need to make sure they keep the weight around the bottom of the cut um so yeah steph does a perfect job as always if you live out in east auckland um i will link her website below if you want to book in with her i've genuinely never been unhappy with my hair ever she's just the best so now i need to get on top of my email what is the time 424 yeah i'm gonna do some emails and then i'm gonna be done for the day and then i need to get myself organized for my little day trip tomorrow right sorry guys i'm back in the car but it is glorious weather on this beautiful tuesday and i am about to go on my little day trip down to fidianga i've got little missy with me abby hello um she's coming with me for the day because she loves the beach it's like her favorite place um, and she's also going to keep me company. I have got my coffee for the day. I'm really happy with how my skin's looking today. I actually whipped out my Chanel um, tint. Um, and look at that glow it's giving me. I might have to start using it more often. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've got my takeaway Nespresso and my Soul Cup snacks for the road. I have a little mini bag of serious popcorn. I have a banana. Hello. <laughs> Why did I do that? An apple and a big bottle of water with a little bowl for her so I can stop throughout the journey and give her some water along the way. Um, and yeah, are you excited? Are we going to go to the beach and see Pop for his 80th and see Shadow the cat? Okay, I better get going. So you get this like very macabre percentage of how long you've been on your phone we're about halfway and we're just having a little bit of a pit stop and just letting her out for a bit of a wee on the side of the road in the grass <laughs> check out this weather oh a lot of trees beautiful honestly this is just a very therapeutic road trip day the scenery is beautiful and i always feel like the drive out to the coromandel in the spring is so gorgeous because everything is so green whereas i feel like we get to summer and all of the and all of the grass and the farmlands go brown super green super lush missy moo let's go we need to keep going she's probably loving all of the native bush don't worry i have doggy poo bags <laughs>
need some advice from you guys because I think it must have been this time last year. Never in my life have I experienced hay fever, but I got home from Europe last year in October, obviously going into spring, and I was just consumed by it. And now we are approaching that similar time of year, and I've been waking up in the morning with just with the worst hay fever it's so annoying it's literally just sneezing runny nose and that's it nothing else and it is only in the mornings and it goes away for the rest of the day after i've kind of got myself up and got myself ready it is just the most frustrating thing and obviously during a global pandemic you don't want to be walking around sneezing or with a runny nose. So I need to know, what is the best hay fever medication? Do I need to go to the doctor? Can I just get something from the pharmacy? I need your help. <laughs> I've never experienced this before. I'm just gonna do morning skincare. Um, I've been trying to keep my skincare quite simple and fragrance free just while my skin has been sensitive, but it has gotten so much better. But normally in the past, I was never worried about sensitive skin products or fragrance free or anything and hopefully I will go back to that because I have so many products that I adore that have worked so well for me in the past that have had fragrance in them but at the moment I'm just staring clear so this is my fragrance free morning skincare routine if you will um this is my second bottle of the Kate Somerville Delicate Soothing Cleanser amazing cleanser but recently I got my hands on the Aven one this is the Tolerance Extreme Cleansing Lotion and it actually says to to apply it and then wipe it off with a cloth but this kind of thing is made for people with like severe eczema or psoriasis or anything like that um, but I actually think it just works really nicely like a normal cleanser like applying it on the face and then adding a bit of water so creamy so hydrating so non irritating just a really nice um, morning cleanser as you will see at the moment I'm very into my French pharmacy skincare right now because they are the brands I tend to go to when my skin is freaking out or this um, Kate Somerville Delicate line which is also amazing and I love the event products because I went to France with them last year while Liam and I were already in Europe and coming through the south of France so Aven actually invited us to their location in southern France where they have a hotel, they have a therapy centre for people that have um, severe skin conditions that need help also where they make their products and source their thermal spring water that has the healing properties in it so yeah I love this brand, um, I have quite a close connection with them this is not sponsored, it is gifted though um, but I genuinely love their products Mm, so soothing. We love a milk um, or like a really creamy cleanser as my um, morning cleanse and my second cleanse in the evening after I remove my makeup with an oil or a balm. Of course, my skin is feeling really soft. I have this guy here who's living without paying rent and another bit of confusion brewing around here but i did have a whole heap of birthday cake yesterday for my pop's birthday and over the weekend for my other pop <laughs> so it's fine um the trick is to obviously not pick which i haven't so this one is slowly going away but as you can see he's very angry and the surrounding areas are looking very very angry so what i've been doing when i learned this from caroline hirons is morning and night I've been kind of spot treating it with um, an acetona. This is the Mecca one. It's got glycolic, salicylic, and polyhydroxy acid. So it's got three types of acids in there. And what you want to do is kill the bacteria around the, um, the zit. Taking a little cotton round. I do have reusable ones, but they are in the wash. Um, just take a little bit. This is what the product looks like. Because my skin's sensitive, I haven't really been exfoliating with acids recently. So I'm just going to kind of spot treat that, hold it down for a bit. And this is what is going to get rid of it quickly with minimal scarring. Then I'm going to do eye cream. This is my Cosmetics 27 eye cream. This is the only eye cream I am able to use right now. It doesn't cause any irritation. I can get this from Mecca, but I bought this myself. And I'm very careful because... A lot of my sensitivity is around here um, and I don't want to focus 
and I don't want to focus my eye cream on that area so I apply it to this eye and then I kind of put my finger over and just get a little bit around here just so that under eye area is hydrated and then I'm going to go in with my serum so I've been using the Kate Somerville Delicate Serum. I was gifted this first and then I used it up and went and repurchased it because I loved it so much. So it's full of ceramides which help to strengthen the skin barrier um, and all sorts of other beautiful ingredients that are, are obviously non-irritating but really good just for like strengthening your skin, getting rid of that sensitivity. This is getting very complicated, I know. I'm just going to put a little bit of the um, Dermalogica Barrier Repair on my area of sensitivity. And it basically does exactly what it says it does. It repairs um, areas of concern in terms of your skin barrier. Then I'm going to use my Avan Tolerance Rich Cream. I've been loving this at the moment. Looks like that. And I like to be quite generous. I don't want to knock that barrier cream out of the way. So I'm just going to kind of go around it. And then the most important part of the routine SPF, so this is La Roche Posay. And Thalios Extra SPF 50 non perfumed sun cream. Um, you want to use a really decent amount. So I love this one. And I'm going to apply it all over. And as someone who is about to turn 25, this will be my only anti aging skincare step. Probably for a long time until I want to really get into the retinol, but that won't be until I'm in my 30s. For now, plenty of SPF will do the trick, I promise. And yeah, it's just that peace of mind that you are being protected, not even by the UVB rays, it's the UVA rays that I'm scared of. <laughs> They're the ones that give you wrinkles and pigmentation. So, lots of SPF. Um, I'm going to be sitting by the window today shooting some sponsored content. I'm just going to make sure that I'm getting everywhere. Then I'm going to pop on a lip mask this morning because my lips are so dry. This is the one from Tatcha. It is lovely. It's like a really juicy, almost gel lip balm. It's very, very sticky, but hydrating. All right. That is my current sensitive skin season morning skincare routine <laughs> hello it is a bit later i have just spent majority of the middle part of the day working on some sponsored content for dose and co um who i work with on a monthly basis and i'm really happy with how it turned out i am such a harsh critic on myself and it is less rare for me to create something and look at it and feel really proud of it but I basically just took the time, let myself, let the creative juices flow. These sorts of posts just cannot be rushed. Um, put on some music, got the tripod out, self timer, and yeah, I feel like I made some magic. So I'll show you what I've done. I've just been fiddling around with it. Excuse my dirty screen. Um, but I've had to do this all manually. There's probably an easy way to do this, like an app or something. But I just couldn't figure it out, so I just did it all manually on Photoshop. But I'm really happy with how it turned out, just with all the colors. And I just love the different corners and different poses going on. And yeah, I'm just really pleased with my work today. I mean, these days don't happen that often. <laughs> I'm normally way too harsh on myself. But this is how it's going to look on Instagram. I just think they look so cool. So happy. It's almost, it reminds me of those photos you get from a photo booth where you take four photos and then it all comes out as like a long reel of photos. It kind of reminds me of that. Really, really pleased. Very productive, satisfying um, work day today. Just spent the remainder of the day um, doing emails, lots of back and forth. I had a really cool project come in yesterday with a really cool brand. Is it going to go up? No, this vlog's going to go up before that. 
Um, I can tell you who it's with. It's with um, Giorgio Armani Fragrances. And then I am going to be working with a lingerie brand, but like a really high quality lingerie brand where they like to fit their customers professionally and all that kind of thing. So the Armani job came in yesterday and um, the other lingerie job came in today. I'll find a way to make it look cool and not like too spicy because you guys know I'm not that spicy. <laughs> I'll find a way to make it look cool and not too like, oh, lingerie campaign, you know what I mean? So I'm excited to work on that and it's just nice to have some different things to work on that's a little bit different to what I've been doing. I'm actually going to do a five o'clock Pilates class, which isn't the usual for me. <laughs> Normally I would do the morning classes, so 7am or 9am. Um, I never go in the afternoons, mostly because I've got to get into new market and the traffic would normally be horrendous. So I actually think I'm gonna leave at four o'clock and then I don't mind if I'm a little bit early. Do Pilates and then coming home and then going for another family dinner uh, because my uncle who I love is going back to London and I have no idea when I'll see him again. So yeah, Pilates and family dinner. This is what I'm wearing today. I have an abundance of activewear at the moment because I do partner with Lorna Jane uh, on an affiliate marketing basis where basically I give you guys a discount which is Ash 20 and you guys get 20% off everything that they sell and then I make a small commission off that sale so just making that really really clear but I'm obsessed with this activewear top it's so cute it reminds me of something that something that I would have worn to ballet when I was little it's really really flattering it's very thin uh, fabric so it's perfect for spring running or exercise classes whatever you want to wear it to and I'm just wearing it over the top of a Lorna Jane crop top and then I'm wearing everything's Lorna Jane so these are my khaki leggings I absolutely love them they're coming up very brown but I swear they are more of a green khaki color and yeah this is what I am wearing to Pilates oh how red am I there's that little spot of sensitivity flaring up again. It just doesn't seem to go away. Wow, look at that redness under my eyes. I just finished my first run for week five of Couch to 5K and I'm definitely noticeably fitter, which is so cool. It's really quite, it's quite amazing how you get to a point where normally you would think like a kilometer into a run that you would just be like absolutely dead but I just found myself obviously like oh I'm hot I'm running oh, but I can keep going I didn't feel the need to stop it's just kind of cool watching yourself get noticeably fitter I'm at the um, five week mark just did my first run for the week and as a reward for getting to week five I've just booked myself in for a massage on Friday afternoon and I thought Friday afternoon would be nice because you have the massage you go home and then it's just a lovely Friday night and you don't have to go anywhere I've had massages in the past where I've had it booked for the morning and then had to like do some other work meetings or get work done in the afternoon and then all of that relaxation has just been thrown out the window. Or having a massage on a Saturday and then going out for dinner afterwards or something. So yeah, I loved the idea of having the massage, coming home, and then just having a really nice movie night with a takeaway at home. So yeah, I just booked that for myself. I need to go and make my smoothie. And then this morning I received quite a few exciting uh, PR packages, but I received a PR box from Mecca, which I'm not gonna lie, is probably the PR box that I get the most excited about when it turns up on my doorstep. But we will go through that together. Um, and I know there are some makeup bits in there, so maybe we will do a little bit of a makeup first impressions situation. But I'm gonna go and down a liter of water. <laughs> so I've just had a really nice afternoon. I felt like I needed some me time. I went for my run, and then I had a shower, and I had the hair washing shower. I put on my speaker when I was in the shower and started listening to some podcasts, and I just came across the Joe Rogan episode with Miley Cyrus. Wow, okay. It's two hours long, which is incredible, but it's literally like listening to Miley Cyrus having a therapy session. It's brilliant. So if you're looking for a new podcast episode to listen to, go and listen to that one on your next commute because I loved it. I loved everything about it. I am now going to open a package. I actually just had another one turn up at the door by a brand who 
I adore and I have worked with and purchased from frequently over the years um, and that is Nespresso so they've sent this big package over I have no idea what this is I didn't get sent any emails about this because often with PR you get kind of a heads up email so you'll get an email about a product that's launching and they'll be like and the package is on its way to you now and you'll be like wow okay so it turns up and you know what it is but I have no idea what this is holy this is exciting so this is a really big box and this looks like oh it's a new master origins collection so what have we got in here master origins aged sumatra coffee look at that limited edition packaging okay so this is the new one that's just been added to the collections so that's aged sumatra vintage selection 2016 Discover the wonder of aged Sumatra, a coffee meticulously cared for over three years. Aged Sumatra joins the Master Origins family for a limited time. Okay, that's cool. High up around Gayo Mountain in the, oh, I'm butchering this, Assay province of the island of Sumatra, groups of skillful coffee farmers devote their expertise to the unusual process of Gilling Bazaar. Farmers remove the coffee cherry flesh and parchment while the beans inside are still wet, letting it breathe and dry more easily then the craftsmen truly get to work over three years the beans are stored in jute bags left to moisten and dry with nature's rhythms wow that's really cool this coffee took three years to make that's incredible i have learned quite a lot about the way they do things all of the farmers that work all over the world for nespresso on nespresso farms are paid like full wages full salaries they are really well looked after and i also take part in the recycling program so i have a bag next to my nespresso machine and every time i empty my machine the pods go in there and then i take them to the nz post post shop and they just send them back to Nespresso and they recycle them. They've sent the whole package. So these are all of the Master Origins. Yeah, my favorites are the Nicaragua, Nicaragua and Colombia. Um, they are really good coffees. As you know, I've got a really strong relationship with Mecca and every so often, um, we kind of just check in with each other and they ask if I wanted to try anything and there were a couple of things on my list so I did request these but it is gifted so let's start with skincare I'm really excited about this this is Sunday Riley Juno and because I was really missing a good face oil in my routine I've been using the ordinary marula oil for a while but it's just getting to a point, especially because I'm not exfoliating that regularly at the moment. I'm finding that my oil isn't absorbing enough. But it's really important to make sure that in your routine you're getting a good balance of water and oil in your routine to hydrate. So you would get that water content from something like a hyaluronic acid serum. Um, and then you would get that oil content. But you can have two different types of dehydration and dryness. And it just depends if you have a lack of water in your um, in your skin or a lack of oil. But I always like to have an oil. And I was thinking back to when my skin was at its absolute best. It was when I was using a really nice, beautiful oil that was full of really rich, beautiful oils that also um, absorbed quite quickly. Uh, and I liked the look of this one because it had no fragrance and no essential oil. So it's all natural plant extracts, but they're not essential oils. So essential oils are things like the scent that you might get in a fragrance like lavender or lang lang or frankincense anything like that a lot of that is put into skincare they don't have any skincare benefits whatsoever if anything they actually irritate the skin it says created with 100 percent pure plant extracts without synthetic fragrance essential oils or preservatives an obsession worthy face oil juno gives an instant glow to dehydrated skin by restoring and rehydrating the skin's natural moisture barrier with a blend of organic cold pressed antioxidant rich antioxidant rich superfood seeds this is what the bottle looks like i love sunday riley packaging and branding it's so beautiful um and i like their products because they just do what they say there's no faff there's no um, like heavy green marketing, green toxic free, blah, blah, blah. They just are wonderful products that are non-irritating and just do what they say. So this is what the bottle looks like. Come on. Hey girl. You gonna go onto your pillow? You gonna go onto your favorite pillow? Go on then. The 
is her favorite place ever. Is that good? You should see her face right now. Hang on. Is that good? Do you like to sit there? So this is what the um, the packaging looks like. It's in a beautiful glass bottle and it's kind of pink and yellow. Very, very much looking forward to trying this because, I don't know, I just, I feel like my skin needs it. I feel like my skin needs a good, really nourishing oil. Then the other skincare product I have, and this was on suggestion from one of my best friends who does work at Mecca. She raves about this. I'm also pretty sure this won an award in the recent Mecca Beauty Awards um, that they did recently. So this is the Amore, Amore? Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. I haven't tried anything from this brand before, but it's a Korean skincare brand. Very, very high-end Korean skincare brand. So this is not a cheap product. This is meant to literally change your skin. Like, people rave over this and say that it's worth every penny. I love an essence. I think essences are great. I think it's really important to layer the hydration within your skincare routine. After cleansing, um, applying a mist and then applying an essence and then your serum and then your moisturizer and they're all very thin layers of hydration that will absorb really efficiently. And yeah, exciting because essences are very much, have very much come out from the Korean skincare trends. So this has to be amazing and the bottle is beautiful. It's literally made of the most basic ingredients as well. So look at this bottle and it's glass. Stunning. A water type essence improves skin texture, elasticity, and clarity by combating skin signs of aging with antioxidant substances obtained from tea extract fermented and aged naturally for a hundred days. So yeah, that's what the main ingredient is of this, and that is meant to be incredible for your skin. So yeah, excited to try this as well. Okay, I think that looks good. Um first up is a product I've been wanting to try for so long. This is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. People have absolutely raved about this. It says makeup meets skincare. A featherweight, light to medium coverage foundation and deeply hydrating skin elixir. Like how good does that sound? So let's put it on my face. I got the shade 04. Um, it's quite hard picking your shade from the website. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very, yeah, it sounds like water. I'm always nervous to try base products. Okay, it's like a squeezy tube situation. Okay. It's more pigmented than I expected. I wonder how much you kind of need. This does look like the right color as well. Whoa, okay, that's dewy. I don't think it's sitting very well with the moisturizer that I used this morning, which is my Aveen one. So I might have to experiment with something else. I can kind of feel it um, pilling, which is what happens when you layer too many products that are like oil and water and they just don't work together. Look at my skin. Doesn't that look good? Show you my skin in the natural light. I think that looks really, really beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see around where my spot is. There is a bit of pilling. But overall, that's pretty much exactly how I <laughs> aim for my skin to look um, every day. And I feel like it's very, very thin. I didn't have to apply much, but that's enough coverage for me. I would just go in with a bit of concealer in the areas I need to. So I'm going to do that now. So this is my RMS Beauty Uncover Up Concealer. I bought this with my own money from Mecca. And I love it. This is my second pot. I'm in the shade 22. I wouldn't use it for covering up spots, but I love it under the eyes. I'm a big fan of cream products, but I haven't really dabbled with too many uh, liquid bronzers. And I really wanted to try the NARS Laguna um, liquid bronzer. I'm not much of a fan of the powder, but, I'm, but I swear my friend Fiona, she's a makeup artist, she absolutely loves this product. And the packaging, from what I remember in the store, is beautiful. Yeah, it's like a heavy glass, matte black glass bottle with bronzy NARS logo on the front. Oh, it's very liquidy. Look, that's going to run down my hand. 
Ooh, nice. That's more diffused than I was expecting. Hmm, that's really nice. Doesn't that look nice? But also quite... Like, it's not too intense. Wow, look at this glow. <laughs> going to apply a bit of my own blush. This is um, the RMS Lit to Cheek Blush in Promise. Um, and then, new product that I cannot believe I haven't tried from RMS. Um, it's the Living Luminizer. It's their cream highlighter. And I know people have raved about this for years. This is the shade uh, Living. And people just absolutely love this. And I cannot believe I haven't tried it before. But what I might do... No, let's go in with highlighter. And then I will add a little bit of powder. And just cancel out the glow. <laughs> where I feel like it's a bit much. But I feel like this foundation is one of those foundations. Where like I just don't need highlighter. So maybe this would be better to use on a different day. See, I feel like we can't even really see that much of a difference because it's already so glowy. So this is my Hourglass Veil Powder. I love it because it cancels out that really intense glow that you don't really want. Like, I feel like it's just a bit much around here and a bit much around here. But not in a really mattifying way. It just makes your skin look normal again. Like, I'll show you what I mean. You see how it's just, that's just toned it down, but it hasn't made it look completely flat, like something, like something really matte would. Does that make sense? Just makes your skin look normal. I really like that bronzer around my eye area. I feel like that looks really good. And that is my makeup. I feel like this is a very, very summery look. Let's go over and face the window. Yeah, this definitely would be a go-to look in the summer for me. But I'm really impressed with this bronzer. I think that looks so beautiful. I think my skin looks so dewy. Even though it did pill in a few areas, my base looks really, really good. Well, that was fun. I'm very excited about... Definitely, I would say this, I'm the most excited about. Guys, I found myself in a selling sunset hole <laughs> i love it uh, my parents have been in real estate my whole life so i enjoy watching all of the real estate politics thoroughly because i know it like the back of my hand just because of my parents and it's so entertaining anyway it's friday night i am having some blissful time on my own liam is just having a beer on his way home from work so i'm just waiting for him having some nice time on my own and i'm really enjoying it so you guys know i'm on the saving bandwagon so this is friday night at home when you love takeaways, but you don't want to be spending money on takeaways or Uber or Uber Eats. Finding really delicious frozen food from the supermarket is key. And this is so good. So this is dinner part one, pepperoni calzone. It cost us like $4.50. And it's delish. It's kind of like a stone baked sort of style with basically pepperoni pizza on the inside. And then this is part two. <laughs> Friday night at home when you don't want to spend money on takeaways. These are so good if you like um, KFC Wicked Wings, like the spicy flavor, because they are quite spicy. But yeah, free range, no hormones, teagle chicken, but it is like the fried chicken strips at KFC without the like really oily, fatty greasiness that comes with KFC. These are delish. It is freezing this morning. It's actually Sunday. I was just going to sit down and get this vlog uploaded for this afternoon, but I realized that I hadn't ended the vlog and said goodbye. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a really lovely week ahead and I will see you next week. Bye.